We're going to go ahead and call the meeting to order. Uh, we'll start with the uh, pledge, and then if I could get the prayer by Commissioner Patton. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Lord and Father in heaven, we come before thee this evening in the most humble manner, asking you to bless us upon us if we enter into this meeting. We pray, pray Father, you'll bless us with the proper attitude and with the knowledge that we need to have, to have the wisdom to make the right decision for the citizens of our community. Guard, guide, and direct us now, Father, so you think we ask in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Welcome everybody out tonight. Uh, first item of business is the approval of the minutes. I make motion we approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the bills. Move to pay all bills. Second. The motion is second. Those in favor signify aye. 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 Opposed, same. The motion passes. Under old business, first item is Brownfield targeted site assessment. Face. Well, we did that. We approved that last month. So, well, no, no, that's fine. I just wanted to know if something else had no. come up or a question had come up that I wasn't aware of. Uh, that's already in the process uh, with grad. Next item is a reappointing new members of the code enforcement board. Ray, correct me if I'm wrong. We haven't. Some of them haven't been appointed, reappointed. So we basically just need to reappoint all the ones, with the exception of Jared. Okay. That would be Ray, Garrett, Rhett, Sonia, and Dwight. Tim. Oh, yeah, Tim Blair. I was going to say, I'm missing one. Should be seven. Okay, friends. then we're in good shape even with Jared. Uh, we were in good shape even with Jared resigning. I thought that was going to leave us a vacancy. Okay. Yeah, the, the seven members would be Ray McLean, Garrett Addington. We won't have to do Rhett and Tim because they were just done in the last few months. Uh, Sonia Gary, Dwight Raymond, and Eddie Groves. I move to point the names you just read off to the Code Enforcement Board. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor of the aye? Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Under new business, property to Jimmy Beto. AV? <laughs> Ask me what it was. <laughs> well, Jimmy's approached me. He lives at the uh, end of Phelps Avenue. I talk about where Paul Decker lives yeah. and shelf. The way it ends, and I've got a map somewhere, I'll probably go find it. The way it ends, the street goes all the way to the property line, but it's a piece, it's a pie shaped piece because the streets are on angles back there. He owns on one side of it. That triangle piece came off the original property that Tommy Jackson and Junior Phelps and all of them had when they developed that. The other side is Hewlett property that was not part of the development to begin with. He's asked us to deed him that triangle piece of pie at the end of the street. Is that a city street? Yes, it's a. And I know a lot of times on an alley or something, we'll do half to one side and half to the other. But this side, this property, if we did it that way, it would make an offset in Hewlett's because this was not part of any property between them to begin with. It was all part of the original track. How did it get Tommy. Like, how did it get well, it's not it's not really. Here's the property line. Do you want this? If you got a map, oh great. Thank you. No, Hewlett's not in the city limits. Yeah. Let me come closing between. the street. No, we're not well uh, there's no closing street. the portion of it. Right. Well, yeah, this was 
the original property line was right back here. Okay. Here's the street. Okay. And the, the blacktop ends about right there. But this is Hewlett's property over here, which is not in the city limits and not part of this. When they developed these, these streets didn't come in square. So it comes out to here. This is that triangle is part of the right of way. We don't take care of it anyway. Who originally owned this whole area? Right uh, Glenn Berryman, Junior Phelps, Phelps and okay. Tommy and that, Jackson. And that was either deeded or dedicated to, to the, the city? city back. Including this track here. Yeah. And it's only this this whole 15 foot wide or 20 foot wide, whatever this is, yeah, all the way up through here is the city area? street. That's just kind of where the black is. So, would it actually include that area right there? Yeah. It would just be. Yeah. That triangle right there. Is it a grassy area, Paul, or what? Yeah. Does he maintain it already? Yeah. It's just dirt ground. Mm -hmm. And the thing of it is, the only way that street could ever extend out, mm -hmm. well, there's two things going against us. If Hewlett gave property to extend it out, number one. Number two, when it comes in there by the uh, <coughs> lift uh, substation for KU, it's a pretty good drop. It would be hard to get a road, extend the road to Rains Avenue, wouldn't it, Larry? Yeah. It would be almost impossible. Do you want the city to gift it to him, or is he going to pay for it? Well, he's offered to pay for it. I told him a lot of times on stuff like this, it would be up to the commission, but he would be expected to do that. Who owns this? Jimmy, Jimmy yeah. Beto. He, oh, he already owns it? Yeah, he owns it. His house is right here. <coughs> his driveway, I'm sure. Uh -huh. His driveway going in. This is driveway here. Yeah. yeah. So his land, this is, this is, uh, <coughs> this is his boundary here. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, well, I, I don't know who owns this one, but I know that's a boundary. He may own that one too, I'm not sure. Who would never develop that? Uh, well, it, you couldn't unless you got Hewlett to go along. Yeah, you uh -huh. can't go any further anyway. I know, but, but they never developed that. They could be mm -hmm. keeping it up to, in perpetuation, let him have it. But uh, no, you no, can't do nothing with it. So. You can't do anything with what you got. Yeah, for we sure. can't. No, if we also turn it. But he wants something legal to come with it. Okay, let me tell you what we need. I haven't seen it, but I'm not. Uh, yeah, that's North 17, 14, 20 West, right? Mm -hmm. Reading that right? Yeah. We got that call from here to here. We don't have the call from here to here, and there, we don't have the call from here to right. here. So my, my suggestion would be that if he will provide us with the calls for the other two sides, do you want to do it to him? Yeah. Okay. We'll wait till we get that before we make Well, yeah, we can do that. I just wanted to bring it up. Do y'all see what we're talking about? Don't fall down. Stop sliding. So that's the right of way. The property lines are right through here. Mm -hmm. And this is the right of way to the street. It's right there, and it just angles here. Yeah. yeah. For this street to go straight through, you have to just frame the wall. And then, like I say, it's too steep to get it connected to Rains Avenue. Okay. Okay, next item is the VC3 internet service, Spectrum or AT&T. Yeah, they say that our internet's not quick enough or fast enough. They want us to upgrade. Uh, I think that they had sent prices from, was it Spectrum? AT&T. Okay, they, we've got prices from AT&T. But we have not checked prices with Spectrum. Do we y'all have a preference on what you would rather stay with? I think Amy was concerned staying with AT&T because our phone system runs through AT&T. But it's going up substantial. Hmm. Like three or four times what we pay now. Well, we actually have a residential service right now. Yes, yes. <laughs> I don't know how we our own dedicated line. I don't know how we've gotten by with that. I'm not sure how the AT&T service is here on internet, but I have Spectrum residential at home. It's a whole lot better than AT&T residential. That's what we hear, but mm -hmm. Amy's concerned with our phone systems that are AT&T. Mm -hmm. Would there be a problem? We have AT&T and we never have problems, never. 
Uh, so we switched ours from AT and T to Spectrum just because of the. Yeah. But we stream TV and everything. That's on what it. we Have do. You too, yeah. Spectrum telephones. Well, we just upgraded the phone system last. Well, you went there last year, or so. Okay, I just wondered. If you're concerned about that part. Was, was VC3 going to get a price from Spectrum, or was we supposed to get a price from Spectrum? I think we had a $3 Do we want to get a price from Spectrum, or we just want to stay with AT&T? Well, and I'd find out from AT&T what happens if we don't have the okay. internet service. Well, I don't want to hold VC3 up anymore. Than yeah, no. So we'll, we'll get a price and report back next month. Well, you don't have to wait until next month. We can have a call meeting if we okay. need to. Okay. Needs to be. Yeah. Okay, next item is the KLC liability grant. This is one we do every year, isn't it? Yes. Just for safety. safety. It's for safety <laughs> issues. I'll second Yeah. Okay, we have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, uh, same. Motion passes. I know better than I jump ahead. <laughs> Next item, tap on use city water for Eddie Shepherd. Yeah, the Joy Southern house that, I guess our son, was it Sam? Mm -hmm. uh, they switched from city water and went to county water. And now Sam has given the meter to Eddie Shepherd. And I told Sam that meters are not tran non transferable from addresses. When you apply for a water meter, you're applying for that address. We don't, we can't let you take it from South Lafayette to, to Phelps Street. And uh, I, I told Eddie that I would find out, but it, as far as I know, we could not do that. So he asked if we, if he could buy the meter uh, to put it in his name to switch the address, which would be like setting a new water meter. And that would take more approval. The house served with water by county now? Yes, that's the one the county took from us. But they're using how, our water meter. How's that no. going to work when we want to put another meter in? How's that going to work? Well, we would we will not offer them a meter. But are they getting water now? They're getting water from the county. But Southern, the Southern the, is. The Southern. But the Shepherd's not. No, the sh oh, okay. Shepherd has Shepherd water. Not. Okay, that's what threw me. Shepherd has what? Shepherd has our water. Oh, okay. Yeah, the okay. well or something? No, he just wanted an extra meter. A extra meter. Okay. They don't live there, do they? I don't think so. I Say, Eddie didn't even live down. Okay. So it's okay if we sell him a meter at the new cost? I mean, it'd be no different selling to anybody else, would it? No. I, don't have, I wouldn't have any problem. I have never heard of two meters, though. No, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Fill the pool up and do landscaping several times oh, and okay. see if it won't pay off. Hmm. Do we have to make a motion on that? Uh, yes. I'll make a motion to allow Eddie Shepherd to buy a second meter. Second. He is actually Two. buying the meter from Joyce, the Joyce Southern property. We need to make sure we need to make sure that's in a minute in case yep. there's something ever rose. Well, wait just a minute. He's buying a used meter. If we if we don't if we don't put this in a minute and specify where the meter's coming from, somewhere in the future they can come back and say, hey. We, we have purchased a meter for our property, now we don't have it. But that's going against our, I misunderstood. I thought you would be just like us setting a new meter for Eddie. The, well, the meter's already set. I know, but the, I thought it'd still the, be. The address is tied with that meter, that said meter, is the Joy Southern address. We need to make sure it's in the minute stating there that we, we no longer have a water meter for Joy Southern address. It's a, it's but to me, they should be, be paying. Moved. They should be getting the meter from the city, not Correct. southern. We just need to make sure that it's in the city minutes. But when they, they're buying the meter from the city. That's correct. And we're not southern's just out. Southern's is out. Okay, I want to make sure that's yes. clear. Yes, absolutely. Because I thought the way you said that they were, he was buying the meter from well, he's southern. Buying the meter. We're setting a meter, but the meter is actually coming from the property from southern. You're physically moving it. Correct. But we don't want to put it in there that he's buying it from Southern. No, 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 no. That's what I thought you said. I, I just want to make sure that Southern no longer has a meter tied with their address. I think I got it. Okay, you got it how you want it. Larry, I get it. Oh, boy. 
We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor signify by the aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the first reading of the 2023 tax rate. I think you've got the paper in front of you. That's compensating rate. Well, yeah. That's the substitution called compensation. Oh, actually, that's Kevin's. I, I may have picked it up when I was over there a while ago. <laughs> I thought, what am I going to Yes. This is the substitute rate. This is the Our current rate's point three oh eight. If we take the 4% increase, it'd go to point three one nine. And then our assessed value went up about $10 million. Counting new. So this term substitute is same as compensating, right? Right. Three point oh seven is compensating. Okay. Well, one. Uh, and three through. three point one nine is the four percent that we're allowed to take. Now, I want everybody to keep in mind that the moves that we have made the last couple of years cost extra money. The three point oh seven is going to bring in the same amount that was last year. The 319, which is 11, 11 thousandths, which would be, uh, would be 11 cents on 100? No. Penny. A, pen, a penny on the 100. 1. 1. If we go with the 4%. And that'll bring in about an extra $20,000, I think we estimated. Yeah. Yeah. And you, you have to think, too, the city of Beaverton does not have an occupational tax like everybody around us has. I'm pretty sure in the total time I've been here, this is my 13th contributor to my 13th. 13 year, yeah. I think we've only raised it twice. To the well, yeah, last year. Well, one time before that and then last year. Right. So it would be one penny. Gonna, are you calculating some? Well, I was going to hang on a second. Give an estimate there. Everything we're doing moving forward, it costs money. And I'm not trying to talk you into it one way or another. No, but I don't think that would mean if we went with a 4% increase, and this is all I can compare it to, is my tax bill would go up $25 a year. I'm not trying to advocate forward or not. I'm just saying the moves we've been making. Mm -hmm. Well, that's something we have to think about. Yeah. taxes to begin with but then again you we've got to be able to have the money to work with yeah it would be a shame and I hate to say that but it'd be a shame if we quit if we didn't do this every once in a while and then turn around and put yeah. a payroll or, or a payroll not a, what is it called occupational, occupational tax profits next and I don't want to ever have to do that that's mm -hmm. right but, you know we've made big bold moves at the police department we've made bold moves at the fire department uh, and it, it's a service you know that for the citizens it's a free service so you know there's always funding issues i hate to be the outspoken on on this but i i think that we ought to shoot for the four percent increase I, I hate to say it but with what we're trying to do and get accomplished it looks like that we're not going to have and a lot of it sounds like we're doing a whole lot. We're really not doing No, nah, we're not. I mean, it's not. Uh, so is that in the form of a motion? Yes. I'll, I'll make a motion. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? <laughs> Those in favor, sing right now. Uh, Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, next item is apply for the state local cybersecurity grant program. Did you find anything out on that? Not much, but they said they're pretty well guaranteed. If we'll try for it, then we'll get it. It's not a lot of the places are doing it. Yeah, I knew that's what they. Do we have time? Yeah. Because I knew it was, it was a tight one. The 18th, I think I'll have to get it. Sorry, well, then I'll make a motion we apply for the state local cybersecurity grant. Second. We have a motion and a second. Those in fact, uh, any other discussion? I will say this can ties back in with this VC3 stuff. Can you use 
part of that funding for that. So, okay, those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. I've got three items I'd like to bring up, then go down the line. Uh, first is amphitheater. We have been a pro. We've been talking about it for some time. When we first built it, we talked about it. While we're not going to rent it for a while, until we got our feet on the ground. We've got an opportunity right now, and I would like to ask this commission's permission to do it to rent the facility for a private gathering. Uh, we did mainly just to see how it goes before we actually come up and set up a permanent rental program on it. We have talked with uh, different places, convention centers and what have you, to kind of get an idea on what the rent would be. Uh, the individual has, once the rent has agreed to everything, uh, they will rent the facility. On top of that, they pay to rent our tables. They pay to rent our chairs. They pay to rent our equipment, sound and light equipment. They pay the production people to be there to run the sound and light equipment. They use our catering and they use our alcohol sales. And they pay for everything extra. They're, they've got a band, live band hired, and they're expecting between three to 500 people at this party. I got one more. Huh? I got one more. I got one more thing that they need to cover. What? Oh, insurance. Liability. Yeah, we, had, we told them we have to have a certificate of insurance. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. <laughs> So it's no, that was a, actually that was the first thing that came up even yeah. before. Yeah, that was my first question. Yeah, the ball was what about the insurance? What we're going to do? That was that? the first thing that came out of the discussion for several reasons. But so it's just what, a what private party. Mm -hmm. What were we thinking about being the base charge for renting the facility? Three thousand dollars for the facility, and that's to basically get you the use of the stage, the the, the grounds, and the restrooms. Concessions are all extra at our prices. Uh, the tables and chairs, I think, I'm going from memory right now, I think the tables are $2.50 a piece and the chairs are a dollar a piece to rent. Which do is they have to do set up or do we do it? They'll do their own. Okay. We may help, I'm not going to say we won't help with them because we have a show the 20, uh, 23rd. They're having the Miss Ohio County the next weekend. So a lot of it will already be set up. They pay for production of the sales? Yeah. Okay. But I'd like, to, like I said, the only concern I have is, that, is who gets the money because I know the rental, the, well, everything you're talking about down there, that does go to everybody down there. But I was just talking about if we rent the thing, is it the city would get the money and tourism would get the it's, money or what's the deal? To me, it's six one half dozen the other. What I would like to do right now is get the approvals just so they'll just have to write one check and then the tourism and the city can settle up if the city wants the money. I don't care one way or the other. I'm just trying to make it. Again, I was just concerned because I didn't know how that would work. It's kind of like when you go to the it's convention center. Too. When you go to the convention center in Owensboro and rent it, you write one check for everything. You don't write a check to the city because they own it, and the check to this people because they own it. I'm just trying to get the approval. So this is just an experimental one. This is experimental. I'm one time for this October seventh show to see how it works out. If it goes really smoothly, and you know maybe something we'll put together a permanent package because we've already talked a little bit about it. Like for one thing, the catering for example and that has nothing to do with this show but just down the road somebody may not want the like we did the grad dinner of course that was a little different because we hosted kind of hosted right. that Which but if somebody wanted to have a private event there they may want something besides pork chops and burgers True. but we would have to work out and have a, a set cater that they exclusively that they use and there's a whole lot more to it when we get into that but i wanted to see kind of how this worked to begin with before we went and is it October 7th? Is mm -hmm. that what it is? Because we talked about, I thought that's when you thought it was. So would they purchase an insurance certificate for that event? They don't have to do an event insurance. And they do have that because I've had, we've had oh, it yeah. before. A lot of time, like when, like even with AAU basketball, we had to have a writer for the insurance for the school. Yeah. I mean, I don't care to try it for once, just see what it does. I don't have a problem with that. And again, no problem. I don't foresee any problems if Larry doesn't have any problems with it, with the with the food and the stuff. I mean, that's I know he's he's going to do everything else, right? And his group is going to do everything. Well, else. the production side of it. Yeah, and and I but we get the, we get a cut of that. Well, I mean, you know, again, I'm, yeah. I'm good with that. I just I I think one time experiment it wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't have a problem with that. I, okay. I'm fine. Is with that in the form of a motion? Maybe he looks like he's got a. Oh, is that oh. Yeah, well, actually, I do. The certificate of insurance is one thing. 
and it, it's be satisfactory if it has a hold harmless provision in it of some type that that regardless what the nature of the claim is their insurance takes care of it uh, the city the city's held harmless and the um, uh, tourism commission which is an agency to sue is held harmless from anything that happens but it sounds to me like they're willing to produce it so that was part of the agreement okay just tell them I thought we want part of the insurance to mm -hmm. hold harmless because I know we talked about it a little bit I'm like we all know if anything were to happen we're gonna be a name we're gonna be a party of it all anyway <laughs> <laughs> I've had people talk about me, don't you worry about the liability. I'm like, if I was worried about liability, we wouldn't have a fire department, police department, streets, right. or sidewalks. Well, anyway. So, you know, just, so, is that in the form of a motion? Yes, that's a motion. I'm going to have a motion. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Uh, Post same. Motion and passes. I hope it works. I mean, I do hope it works. I do. I It'd be nice, but but that way we'd see if it's something that might could work, then we could get some procedures and policies put in place because, we have a lot of people I've had, or I've had several people call and want to use it for a singing or a fundraiser for this or for that. And I, I've tried to explain to people, you know, you put a band on that stage and if you have 100 people show up, it looks like a complete failure. Yeah, it does. Because it's such a large venue. And people don't realize what it costs to open it up. And they don't realize what it costs to get the equipment set up and add the production people. But this guy has no problem with it and is ready to go with it. So this, I thought, would be a good opportunity just to see how it works out. Yeah. And then put something together because, you know, there may be other opportunities down the road. And you mentioned the grand dinner. I would like to have that again. Can you get that again? Please? Well, it's going to be next week in Owensboro, or this week in Owensboro. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday at lunch. What? This Wednesday? Yeah. I don't remember getting one. If I did, I don't remember. I don't know. We send anything out there, everybody? I, I got something. I don't know okay. in the mail or in the mail. Was it in the mail or in the mail from here? I can't remember. What that was. You can probably call over tomorrow and get. Are y'all going? Are you going? I'm going. Are you going? I am. James, you going? Where's that? The Grand Dinner. Over in Owensboro. It's over in Owensboro. Wednesday. 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 Lunch. I hadn't thought about it. I, 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 at first, I'd heard about it, so I didn't even know it. So I was like, I, I knew it was about the time we what, had it. What time is it? 11.30, I believe. I'll probably pull that off. You just need to be sure to call and let them know. Then get two more in. Just, I mean, I don't need to get to it. And where's that? It, it's McConnell Plaza, down on the river. Probably get me out of that building I'm tired of. <laughs> so. <laughs> so back to the rental and I probably don't even need to think this far ahead, but how choosy can we be? Oh. I know this is a private event, but do we have the grounds there to say, no, we can't allow an event? Let's say a nudist group wants to rent it out for a concert. Larry's all for that. <laughs> That's all I could scream. think of that wasn't just oh. really, really bad. <laughs> See, just, that wasn't really, really know. bad. But you know, do we can do we can we pick and choose? Probably not. If they say they want to run a check for. I mean, just I, I, we can find we can check on that, like with. Well, usually when you rent, you have the right to refuse or accept. Well, or it, it depends on what it is. Uh, and the city. That's a good point. The city's in a different situation than if it was a private owner. Mm -hmm. But if, if if we're using if we're using one group to run production and they have something else going on. Yeah. There's ways around. Because see no one else would be allowed to do the production except them. And they're just busy that weekend. But, you know, they have to apply to tell us what weekend and we have to check and see. And we can check with laws with convention centers and stuff, but like I say, that'd yeah. be something. But I don't know that we could. Because I'm all for, you know, promoting Beaver Dam, people utilizing, but sometimes be like, mm, that might not be the best thing. Yeah, but what? 
and I don't like this, but what you and I think it's not the best thing. Exactly. Someone else doesn't agree with, thinks it's the best thing, and you're using. Yeah, and that's that's there's maybe where I'm ways. going with it. But I think that would be right. I would be more lenient than my parents would be. Let's well, just say is, that. Oh, well, I understand <laughs> that. It's an experiment. We'll we'll just do it the one time is an experiment. Yeah, yeah this we'll is to see how it works and how smooth it goes. If if you if it goes well, by example, and you want to do it on a, I won't say regular, but you want to do it on a continuing basis. On a continuing basis, then the commission. I think it needs to put together some type of policy. Oh, and, and I want the, what I would prefer to do is put the whole booklet together, just like, and I used to do uh, convention planning. So when you go into a convention center or a hotel, they give you the booklet of all the policies, procedures, and you check off what you want, you pay for everything, it's all plus, plus, plus. Uh, and that's kind of what I would, if this goes over and it's pretty smooth, we would like to spend some time putting it together. It just doesn't matter of inquiry, the facilities over in Owensboro that have independent um, management the groups that come in um, are they uh, city owned and controlled county owned and controlled some combination of the two I think the city owns the convention center or the sports center and but they have a management firm that oversees it and they take care of well, if, if the city of Owensboro can do it, and I was just thinking yeah. about those facilities over, they're the slicks. They let all kinds of independent groups mm -hmm. uh, access those things. And I, I, I would think if it's safe to let the bar convention come over there, that you should be able to allow <laughs> pretty much anybody to, to use the amphitheater. But, but I think you do need a book and policy. Yeah, we do need a policy. But I just, I just didn't want to go to that time and effort and a little bit no, of expense no, I, just I, and I, if if something went like this and, and this is a disaster to, to be honest to, to find somebody who was so willing to shell out this kind of money right off the bat and do all this i'm like this is a good way to try this out and well it might be like i said it's a good gauge for what we could do later on that's the key would we have them have security there oh they have to do that and it's through us okay he probably said that and i was, I was just no, i don't know if i mentioned security but everything everything is through through us Okay, next item I have is I would like to put up and appoint Lisa Pinson as a member of the Planning and Zoning Board. I'll make a motion okay, that we... Okay, Lisa's my neighbor, mm -hmm. and she's a good lady. Mm -hmm. well, she's I'm one of the volunteers. I used to, she used to work for me, so I've known her and went to school with her, so I've known her forever. Yeah, Lisa Butcher. So Pinson or Vincent? Pinson. 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 Mm -hmm. She was Lisa Kessler. Lisa Kessler. Her husband's retired Arnie. I know if I saw her, but I don't know. She was a K singer. I made the motion to approve Lisa or appoint her or whatever. We have a motion. We have a second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. And my other one, we've been working on for quite some time now, but to appoint Courtney Alban as a member of the Beaverton Tourism Commission. To She would be replacing. Well, Larry, who she replaced? And I just went blank. Huh? Charlie. No, we got a guy. It's we needed a female. Oh, Tracy, Bates, Allison, Allison oh, Collar. Allison Collar. <laughs> well, I make the motion that we uh, appoint Courtney. I'm glad that you got a her. Well, we've been working on this for some time. Yeah, I knew that. You know, she, we, she and I she had talked about to getting involved. She was right over here, didn't she? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'll second. I didn't know it. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know where she lived. Did he second? Did you second? Mm -hmm. second. Have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify that. Aye. Opposed, uh -huh. same. Motion passes. James, do you have anything? No, things seem to be going pretty well right now. I will say uh, this uh, little thing we had in the park over Labor Day, and uh, we did very little advertising. We still had 150 folks show up on Sunday morning at 1030. So it worked out pretty good. We had a call it praise in the park. Our, our church and my son's church kind of kind of put it together just to see how it would go Labor Day weekend. And uh, wound up, we didn't do a lot of advertising at all, just on Facebook, and we had over 150 folks show up. And, 
It Didn't wasn't too bad. Very complimentary. Yep. I only had one. I only had one little spot of garment to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I thought we got out lucky because I <laughs> used to pastor in inner city churches where I had to go spray the graffiti and sweep up the broken beer bottles every weekend just to have church. <laughs> so uh, I really and everybody was really thrilled with the facility, and we had had a good time. But that's that's all I got. Okay, Sandy. I don't think I have anything. It ain't good. You would come to me. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Your favorite, favorite thing, Pickleball. Pickle. They want to know if we could change the lights, the wattage. Apparently, according to the KU guy that was here back in the spring, they put up the wrong lights. The wattage was wrong. They put up a K3 and we're supposed to get a K4. So they're willing to put the lights up and it'll go from about 114 a month to 120 a month. I think I got my number right out. 114 to 128 a month. And again, I don't know if it's gonna fix their problem, but it beats having to put a whole new set of lights up all over the place, because they are the most, gosh, they drive me crazy. <laughs> well, I'm gonna say too, I didn't know pickleball has gotten so popular with the young set. Too. There's a middle school team now. <laughs> Really? Yes. We're going to be here and looking for more courts. All, all age groups are up there. Yeah. I mean, nobody's uh, better to see what's going the on. The kids are really like, getting into it. Yeah, my wife is going to start playing. I don't know how many people are going to watch you play. They came for they didn't have. And he said they could do it. When, if, we, if we go ahead, they just do a work order and they put them up. He said it would take them about three hours, four hours to put up, and that's it. It'd be real simple. And they're going to move a wire. I forgot about that. What they're happens if these lights aren't running? Then we're in trouble because I don't know what else to do. Because I who was over the first set of lights that went up? Was that you? No, <laughs> they did not put up the right light. Yeah, that's what I. That's what we said, found. They out. put the wrong one. That's why they're willing to do it for free. I didn't know what you yeah. had for the No. Over the first set. Wait, weren't you down there every step of the way with me? <laughs> no. You pretty much. No. But they they want to know, and I, I I would like to do that if you all don't mind to go ahead and change the lights out and at least get that part of it you done. Said in the form of a motion. I, I, I make a motion if you don't care that we do that. Yeah. <laughs> we have a motion okay. second. Anything to appease that group, I would well, go get the fire truck and hold them down. At the I will say, though, to make it it's a little easier, there are so many people utilizing it, mm -hmm. and of all age groups, that's one of the best things we've done. Three Saturday nights ago, three Saturday nights ago, four Saturday nights, I don't know, several Saturday nights ago, I went down there. On a Saturday night, there were over 100 high school kids playing oh down there. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I went last Monday, we worked on the lights last week trying to adjust them, and there were 60, 56 down there last Monday playing when we were down there with the boom truck and then we were working on it. So. Have you figured out where the additional courts are going to go? Oh, yeah. They've already discussed <laughs> that. <laughs> but they want those with a roof on them so that they can close them off. And they, you know, they make good sense with garage doors if they can open up in the summer. Close them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these people are fanatical. I'm not kidding you. They're something else. I love them to death. They're the nice people. And I, they will and drive I, you crazy. And I guarantee you that if they want it, they'll raise the money to get it. If you're They're trying. Well, they, if you ever go up there, they have done a lot of the work themselves. They've put up, put up tents. They've put up awnings. They've put up... Uh, they've got they will, they storage will. places for their equipment and everything. It's amazing what they've done. But yes, they, they are, and, and again, I said this a couple, three months ago, if anybody wants to take over parks, I am more than happy to swap. I'll take sewer, I don't care. I just, <laughs> I've done parks long enough. I'll get out of that one. Cemeteries are stable. Ralph, I'm not coming out. <laughs> okay, we got a motion and a second on the floor. Any further discussion? Those are favor signify aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. Larry, you got anything? Yes. Uh, Cobb got, finally got home to Scotty's today, black topping. They're four to five weeks out. Uh, tomorrow we'll start measuring our man hoes and getting them adjusted. Uh, I've started a black top list. If anybody knows a street that you want to add or look at to put on, please let me know soon. Uh, I ordered. We, since they detoured the traffic off Main Street, we have replaced several uh, signposts. I don't have, didn't have any signposts to put the speed limit signs up. They are ordered. Bear with me. <laughs> they, they say, it, according to the book, they're six to eight weeks out on getting the signposts. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, well, it's 
Yeah. Can we go Did ahead and talk take the Deacher is corner of Broad and Goshen. That is that a meter cover that got knocked up that's laying on the ground? You walk around concrete things that popped up. It looks it like one of those old meter meter corner. Meter I think that's where they hit the fire hydrant, isn't it? No, the fire hydrant. Not fire hydrant, but this looks like the size of a meter cover. But I wonder if it's the valve cover to the, the fire valve hydrant. Cover, that's the valve cover. It may be the hydrant's valve cover. It looks like it's laying up on the top of the ground. Okay. And Larry, do we have any risers for like the water water valves and stuff? Yes. Can you put one on the end of go, uh, Mulberry up by Goshen Road? I would really appreciate it. I don't know. I'll get with the water commissioner and we'll discuss it. And we'll get. We're at Mulberry and where? Uh, Goshen. If we get this done, I don't have to take parks and recreation, do I? <laughs> Larry, can, I can we take the no idea. semi sign down there? Yes, yes. They're, they're in town. They're relocating the water line that runs across Main Street at East 3rd. Uh, hopefully that will get done. They'll be down to one lane traffic tomorrow. Hopefully if they get it done tomorrow or Wednesday, uh, they will come in and mill, mill, mill everything down. And the process for the final coat uh, will be following that. So how long are we looking at before they're going to get it done? I can't only answer because I usually wouldn't say. Yeah, yeah you're, I, was, I talked to Jack Goats with the state, and I asked him if they, what they was going to do on black topping. He said that they are, they think they have the money to where when they do it, they're going to resurface from 62 to 62. Well, oh, they, they are going, they weren't going to that's, do that again. That, that's not public knowledge yet. That's just what he told me today, but that's what they were doing. That's what they were going to try to do. Well, that'd be well, nice. Scott, Scott had announced that that's they felt like they were going to get to do that. <laughs> and this is a really dumb question because I'm positive that they're going to. But where you turn into the side streets, that's going to be all smoothed yes. out and everything. That's too. what they have to claim down to get right. Uh, uh, well, I was thinking Larry, Main Street. Maybe we're talking about. about the well, they're, they're going to grind it too. Claim it down. <laughs> I don't know if they the have. School started now. They might, might want to know for buses. Yeah. They they won't start until after I'm assuming the school traffic. But I'll get a, I'll let Billy know for. But well, Chris Stafford over, you know, he's a guy, he's a guy with the buses now. Yeah, that's who you need to talk to, Stafford. But since the following he's done by the afternoon run. Do you need his cell number? Uh, yes, please. Because it, it does affect our afternoon buses and there's stuff going on. I'll just, I'll send you a cell. All right, do you have anything else? I, I know we need to go in closed session, no, but. It's all one, three things I have. Okay. Jill? Mike? Uh, we're good. Really close on our two guys going to the academy uh, our October 8th. I'd like the commission to go ahead and have their hard date to be September the 24th. That's about two weeks before time to start. Uh, this time to take the rain, run the heat sun, make sure we get all the cars ready, everything that they need, and get them kind of used to it. And uh, I think we talked about one time before starting at uh, $17 and then. After the academy, after 90 days after our probation, they get a 50 cent uh, And then Jacob Blanchard and Noel Miller. Is that 1750 pretty much the starting? Yeah, yeah for the academy. Okay. 17, 1750 after the probation after the graduate. Okay. So we have a motion? Yep. I'd like to make a motion to go ahead and start paying them on the, say, 24th? 24th. 24th of September. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, same five, aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. They're two good boys. I like them. They did a real good job down there. Too. Anything? Yeah. He didn't have anything either. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chris. Right? Yeah. Mm. Is this ready for my signature? I'm, I, I want the commission to, to uh, make a motion to approve and executing the document. Do we do that? Yeah, obviously. I'll make that motion. <laughs> we, do, we do that on any deed. Yeah, mm -hmm. Well, I mean, in, in certain yeah, situations, I've uh, been asked to make a document. Piece of property that was never needed to the city, it was never dedicated to the city, but the mayor's been asked to sign the document in which whatever we own is transferred. So, protection of the mayor and the 
transmission across an ocean out there on the other side. It's what? Like a motion path on the other side. It's the same. It's the same thing with the old Yeah. It's, it's it's one of the, I don't have I don't have the authority to sign this without us without the commission approval. Well, I'll make a motion to do sign the contract. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify that. Aye. Opposed saying. Motion passes. Okay. I don't know. You sign it, As I was saying, can we get all this? They have to sign it. They have to yeah. Would it be something we might could do, get this tomorrow or the next day or something? Because someone get it notarized, my signature notarized. Yes. Uh, I have a number that I want Yeah, you I can't. I can sign for my mom, but you can come to my mom and maybe a partner's another. She thinks a lot of it. <laughs> Somebody does. <laughs> <laughs> How would that one? <laughs> so I mean, or do you all have I've got one. We got one here oh, at okay. City Hall. I just don't have one tonight. Well, are you? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. okay. I didn't think you were. Elise is a notary. I just don't have one here tonight. And, and <laughs> I can bring mom down, or I have to bring. Okay. Elise well, can notarize both our signatures. I really like well, I understand that. That's that's her mom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll get this signed tomorrow. We're releasing notarized my signature, and then it'll be here for you whenever you want to. Can you just come down and sign the part of the notary? We can come down at lunch? Yeah. Yeah, Lisa's gone to lunch. Okay, Lisa's lunch is from 11.30 to 12. So if you can catch her before her lunch. Thank you. Make a copy, after it's fully executed, make a copy of it to keep with the motion, if you would, you get the original and you take the original for the clerk's office. Okay. okay. Yeah, I need to entertain a motion to go into closed session. I make a motion to go into closed session. Second. Make a motion that we go back into open session. <laughs> You need that? Do I need to move to go in open session? We got a motion to second. Second. Yeah. Motion to second. We're back in open session. I say there was no business conducted during the closed session, and we are back in open session. So, does anyone have anything else they'd like to bring before the commission? I make a motion. We dismiss. <laughs> second. Thank you all very much.